Hello to all my friends in Canada. I miss you. Um, I was very inspired by uh, Brad's little video clip of his and, and Sue Rankin's uh, compound in Apsley, Ontario, and made me realize how nostalgic I am for Canada. But as you know, I've been living in the States now for a while, or as you may not know, for those of you that don't know me, and I teach at Cal State San Bernardino. It's about 60 miles east of Los Angeles. So right now we're in um, kind of my studio slash office, kind of a communal storage kind of workspace. Um, got a lot of sort of old demo pieces and miscellaneous uh, supplies in here. Uh, a few different dust collection experiments, some of these things have been sticking around in here for a long time. So we're going to walk out now and we'll go to the uh, cold shop, we're right next door. So here we are in our cold shop. Um, it's pretty uh, serviceable. You know, I've been teaching here about eight years, so in that time uh, we've been kind of slowly but surely making improvements. Um, you know, first it was just so I could work in here and make stuff, but now we're also just trying to develop a little more cold working in general within the curriculum. So we've got, you know, grinding wheels, a lathe, belt sanders, saws, all that kind of stuff. Um, we don't do a lot of casting here, so we don't really have a great setup for um, using handheld tools on things, but uh, that might be something that we'll try to fix at some point in the, in the future. So it's a little bit of a mess, but this is sort of pretty typical for a student situation. Um, no matter how many times we do a cleanup, it doesn't take too long before things get messy again. But, you know, I don't mind as long as people are using it. It's good. This is our hot shop here in Cal State San Bernardino. Um, we have, as you can see, uh, some different annealers. We have a gas annealer, electric annealer, pickup oven, garage. We have two glory holes and benches, two working stations. We have a little small continuous melt furnace, and then we also have a little color furnace that we light up in the winter time and melt some different colors in there. So it's a little tight in here, as you can see, but it's really pretty serviceable. I make most of my work in here, and it works out pretty well. So, and certainly, even though it's a school, I still am heavily involved in building and maintaining the equipment. We do have a technician, but a lot of times we'll have to work together on things or get student help. You know, similarly to a private studio, we have to do a lot of fundraising to figure out how to pay for the rebuild that we're going to do this summer, for instance. Our annual school department budget here is $500, so that doesn't go very far. Um, I think it buys one liner brick, something like that, for when we build a, a new furnace. So, you know, I still have to kind of deal with those kinds of things. I came um, last a couple weekends ago and the furnace was off. Uh, somebody had accidentally turned the gas off, so the furnace had crashed. So, you know, having a free shop has its hidden costs, but for the most part, it's great. So uh, come visit.